Hello everyone, I'm David Rose. I just want to take a moment to say I'm so thankful to all of you who continue to support our work here at Washington's Most Wanted and the work by good detectives in law enforcement who spend all day and night working to help victims in our state. There's a lot of great police work out there, but it's hard in this environment. So I'm grateful to those of you that are supportive and call in tips to make their jobs easier. There are so many victims out there that need help. That's where you come in. So here's a look at some of our top cases featured this week on Washington's Most Wanted in conjunction with Crime Stoppers. Let's kick it off with the search for a convicted child molester who's on the run. Take a look at Michael Pilcher Jr. He's got several warrants for his arrest right now in Pierce County. Deputies say the level one sex offender hasn't checked in with the Sheriff's Department as he is required by law to do. And he's been repeatedly violating a no contact order by showing up to a woman's home uninvited. Tacoma police say he even snuck into that home through an open window. She called 911, but he took off before police arrived. That got him charged with burglary, domestic violence. He is wanted for failure to peer for his burglary charge, also with a violation of no contact order, and for failure to register as a sex offender. Michael Pilcher has three prior convictions for failing to register. He is 6'3 and weighs 225 pounds. He's known to hang out in the Tacoma, Milton, Fife, Puyallup, and Graham areas, but he could also be in Auburn or Federal Way. He turned 42 years old on Monday. So let's give him a belated birthday present, W&W style. Three hots and a cotton, no cake for you. If you can tell deputies where to find him, submit an anonymous tip right now by calling 1-800-222-TIPS or text that tip through the P3 Tips app on your cell phone. You will get a cash reward of up to $1,000 if that tip leads to his arrest. You know that good feeling when you see somebody you haven't run into in a long time and you're really glad to hear how well they're doing? Yeah. That's not the case with this next fugitive. Troy Raymond is wanted right now by the Department of Corrections, Southwest Community Response Unit, and Thurston County Sheriff's Detectives. We go way back to 2016 when one of your tips led to his arrest in Tacoma. Unfortunately, it appears Troy has not mended his ways. He's wanted in Thurston County for possession of a stolen vehicle and two counts of possession of meth. Chehalis Tribal Police arrested him and Suzanne Christensen in the parking lot of the Eagles Landing Hotel on October 3rd. Well, he was desperate to get bailed out of jail before DOC officers could find out he'd been arrested because that meth charge is a violation of the DOSA sentence he received to get out of prison so he could get treatment. Troy Raymond is 40 years old, 6 feet tall, and 180 pounds. Suzanne also has multiple warrants for her arrest, and officers say they are likely together. So keep an eye out for them in the Olympia area and call 911 immediately if you spot them. If you can tell officers where to find either of them, submit an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers of the South Sound at 1-800-222-TIPS or use the P3 Tips app on your cell phone and earn a cash reward of up to $1,000. Well, the San Francisco 49ers tattoo that our next fugitive is sporting on his left arm may help you spot him. Tyrone Dixon is a convicted felon wanted in King County for first degree organized retail theft. He's accused of stealing jewelry cases from Kohl's department stores up and down the West Coast. Detectives say he heisted more than $25,000 worth of jewelry from the Kohl's in Covington last year, hitting the same store twice within days. He was recognized by the store's corporate security team as the same suspect who stole jewelry cases from a Kohl's in California. He would clip that cable that secures the jewelry display cases to the countertop. To most customers, he just looked like an empty handed shopper until he'd flee the store with an armload of stolen merchandise valued in the thousands. Detectives say Dixon could be driving a black 2009 Acura TL like this one. His rap sheet has convictions for numerous thefts and residential burglary. Tyrone Dixon is 28 years old. If you spot him in your local Coles, especially, go ahead and call 911. If you can tell deputies in the fugitive unit at King County where to find him, submit that information right now through the P3 Tips app on your cell phone or call 1-800-222-TIPS. And if your information leads to his arrest, you get a cash reward of up to $1,000. Well, tonight, Seattle police say they've identified a hat worn by a suspect in a horrific case of animal abuse at Green Lake Park, but they need your help to actually catch him. A warning, the cell phone video I'm about to show you may be disturbing to some. The suspect attacked and killed a Canada goose. He did it in an extremely cruel way, as multiple witnesses called 911. Here's a, a man that's killing... Canada Goose. He did. Green he Lake around 65th. 
He's beating them it's with. Goose season, mister. Yeah. That's not okay. There's a number of us that have got footage. Well, that video of him stuffing the dead goose into his bag was taken on September 28th, but Seattle police still don't know this suspect's name. Police say he was seen chasing geese around Green Lake, hitting them with a cane until he cornered one of them and then ripped off its head. Even though we're in COVID, there's still people around and they're watching this take place. And it's like, this is despicable. How could this guy be doing this? This is felony animal cruelty in the first degree. A man who saw what happened that day says he and two other women started yelling at the suspect to stop after they saw him beating one of the geese. They called 911 soon afterwards. He put the goose in the backpack and started walking, so I decided to follow him. I saw that my son was back in the distance with our dog, back with those two ladies, and I followed him for about two blocks while I was on the phone with uh, 911. And then about two blocks, after that, towards about 64th, he turned around to come after me with his cane, and that's when the 911 operator said to run back and don't follow him anymore. So he's cruel to animals and he threatens humans. Here's the hat he was wearing. It says, Echo in Mexico, which means made in Mexico. Detectives say the suspect appears to be 20 to 30 years old. He's got a possible tribal tattoo on his right upper back and shoulder. The Humane Society of the United States is offering a reward of up to $5,000 for any information that leads to his arrest. Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound is adding up to $1,000 to that reward. So if you know who this guy is, submit an anonymous tip right now by calling 1-800-222-8477 or text the information through the P3 Tips app on your cell phone. So that's a look at some of the cases featured this week on Washington's Most Wanted, airing at a special time tonight. Join me at 11 o'clock on Q13 Fox, Washington's Most Wanted. If you can't join us tonight on this Thanksgiving, please join me on Saturday at 10 o'clock on Joe TV or statewide 10.30 p.m. on our Fox TV stations in Spokane, Yakima, and the Tri-Cities. And together we can make sure all these criminals have nowhere left to hide.